Detours. Brought to you by Sports and Spokes, the magazine for wheelchair sports and recreation. In 1946, as veterans were returning from World War II, the sport of gold ball was created to help rehabilitate those with serious vision impairments. A Paralympic sport since 1976, gold ball remains the only sport not taken from the able body world and modified. Paralympian Zach Bueller was introduced to the sport in 2015 and competed at the Paralympic Games in Tokyo where Team USA finished fourth. So there's three athletes on each side of the court um, at one time. Um, six total athletes usually go to a tournament. Um, we play on a metric volleyball court, so it's nine by 18 meters wide. Um, and what we do, all the, all the lines and stuff on the court actually have strain underneath, um, so it's tactile. And then um, there's about four foot high goals on each side that go the whole nine meters, the width of the court. And so the ball it weighs about three pounds, has bells inside, um, and makes noise for us. So what we do is we roll the ball on the ground to try to score. Um, and then as a defense, we try to just kind of dive out and block it with whatever part of, a part of our body we can. But it's all by sound. Um, so everyone wears these kind of blacked out eye shades um, just to even the playing field. Because some people can see a little bit, some people can't see at all. So just to even the playing field. And then we just use all sound communication with our teammates, the lines on the floor. Um, really just to block the ball. It's back and forth kind of like basketball, um, scoring kind of like soccer. We can actually make noise up until the person um, starts like the release of their throw. So as soon as they start their backswing, we have to, the offensive team has to stop making noise. Um, so often you'll see um, sometimes like if a player throws and they fall and make noise or if they're talking before the ball hits the other team, um, then often we'll get what's called a noise penalty. Um, but as soon as the ball contacts the defense, we're allowed to make noise. Um, but the defense is allowed to make noise basically the whole entire time. And then our biggest thing is we just try to be accurate. Um, the more accurate with shots you are, the more you can kind of work off those different shots. Um, so I like to tell people often, like, it's kind of like a pitcher in baseball. We're not only trying to hit, you know, these certain spots with a fastball. We're also trying to kind of mix it up, throw different balls with different heights, different speeds, different stuff like that. It has to hit in our zone and also in the other team's zone before it contacts them. Um, so there are, there is like a high ball line and a long ball line. Our goal is to get topspin on the ball. So the more topspin you have, the more, the faster that ball is going to spin and the, the faster it spins, actually the bells will just kind of stay at the bottom and not make much noise. So if you hear a ball and it's in the air and it's not jingling and rattling, that's kind of what we want. Sometimes you'll hear a ball and it'll be in the air and you, you'll hear the bells inside. And so that's a little easier to track than if it's in the air and just staying quiet. Those are kind of most, the most effective balls that we have. So we really try to put as much top spin as we can, really trying to come through the ball and get kind of get that power behind it. Usually the two wins that we have are usually throwing the most, the center is throwing the least amount, but the center is also getting involved with the throws just to make sure everybody's kind of engaged in the game and, you know, keeping everybody kind of aware of what they're doing. In theory, if you had one guy that you wanted to take all the reps in a game, you could absolutely do that. The problem is that throwing is one of the more tiring things that you do just from getting up, getting down, and then just putting power in behind it. We kind of check our position where we're at on the court, making sure we're in the right spot. And then often what I'll do is I'll check with my teammates to make sure like I'm close enough to them or I'm far enough away from them. I'm just making sure we're connected because we want to try to close off as much open space as possible. And then kind of from there, it's just about really reading and reacting. So just kind of listening for the ball. Um, you don't listen for the first bounce, you're listening for the second bounce because sometimes the ball can, you'll think it's going one direction and the second bounce will be somewhere like kind of right in front of you, so you got to kind of react different. So, and then it's really just about exploding out, um, getting that timing and blocking the ball and meeting the ball. Um, often, like people think we're just really getting hit with the ball, but actually, what we're trying to do is attack the ball. Um, that way, we can make these stops and get good solid blocks. Um, so, it is really just about like reading, reacting, and then just being very, very explosive. We play at just a little bit different depths, so the center will actually play a little bit higher and then the wings will kind of play back behind. Um, then that way, when as we're sliding in, um, we aren't really colliding with each other. We do have, we do make contact sometimes. Um, sometimes I'll, you know, bump 
bump the center with my shin or something like that, or today I kick somebody in the mouth. So we do have we do have collisions like that, but often what we try to do is we try to go feet to feet. Um, that way, if we are colliding, we're we're just hitting feet instead of heads and other things like that. <laughs> we have a full strength program, so we're lifting about three days a week. Um, just working on strength and conditioning, so we're doing squats, we're doing um, like push press, deadlifts, um, we're doing all these different Olympic lifts to try to build strength, um, really doing like explosive movements with our hips and with our shoulders, um, just really getting ready, because goalball is like very, very explosive movements very quick, so we try to get those fast twitch muscles and those muscles to be strong and firing properly, but a lot of a lot of the stuff that we do training-wise um, leading up to tournaments and stuff is often just practice and getting on the court, getting our body used to getting hit with the ball, reading the ball, all that, because it is a full contact sport. Um, and so just kind of, it's kind of like a boxer going into a fight. Like you don't want to go in never being hit or anything like that. So we often will just rep out getting hit and working on our different shots and stuff leading up to a tournament.